economic development. Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mujavadi says the government has developed initiatives that seek to increase Kenya's coffee production from the current 51,000 metric tons realized in the year 2021-22 to 100,000 metric tons by the year 2025. He says coffee production in Kenya has been declining over the years due to challenges like climate change, perennial price volatility, market access and low domestic consumption, among others. He was speaking in Uganda during the second African Coffee Summit. Foreign exchange and generally contributes to the livelihood of many Kenyans and is estimated to support directly and indirectly over 5 million Kenyans along the coffee value chain. Kenya pledges for sustainable development to prioritize agriculture as one of the top six pillars in the Kenya Kwanzaa Manifesto, where all cash crop production is nationalized with compensation of farmers. Some years ago, the global demand of coffee was 118 million bags, 60 kilograms. Uh, 118 million bags of 60 kilograms each. I hear that the global demand has now gone to 160 million or more. 60 million, uh, 60 kilogram bags. That's why the demand is going up. And that's why I have been encouraging Ugandans to grow coffee. Otherwise, if it had no global demand, I wouldn't encourage them. Two people died after a matatu they were traveling in was involved in an accident at Sobea area along.